go for uh, we'll go for AutoCAD screen. So switch off the grid mode, enable the ortho mode. So then go to limits, type command limits, specify lower left corner 0 comma 0, type 297 comma 210, and then zoom, enter all. Then go to line. First we're going to draw uh, select from first point. Click on the first button of the mouse and again specify next point. Click on again at some distance. Click on the first button of the mouse. Then go to specify next point. You take the cursor to the top side. Again click on the first button of the mouse and just press enter key. Then go to offset. Take the distance as 297 and say click on this and offset. Then go to offset set the distance as 210 select this horizontal line and offset to the top side then go to zoom extends and zoom 0.6x then go to fillet between this line and this line between this and this between this line and this line so then go to zoom window and go to d text switch off the caps lock and take this specify height as 4 and then rotation angle as 0 and type the problem number 69 draw draw the projections of a straight line capital AB 100 mm long inclined at 45 degrees to HP to HP and 30 degree to VP the end A is in HP and the end B is in VP for find the find the shortest distance between the straight line capital AB and the line of intersection of planes of projection and press enter key now we go for zoom previous so now we'll go for layer so put on the caps lock go to new layer and type xy in there similarly new layer go to views and press enter key new layer type locus enter then go to new type true length and enter now we'll change the line weights under layer 0 click on line weight default make it 0 0.05 and say ok under xy layer click on line weight default make it 0 0.13 and say ok under views layer click on line weight default and make this as 0.5 and say ok then locus click on default make it 0 0.05 and say ok click on true length line weight default then make it 0 0.25 and say ok so in locus in line type continuous we just click on continuous click on load take the cursor to line type type d dash dot say ok and click on the dash dot and say ok now so this is how you will be able to assign the line weights and also the line type for the different layers and say close. We will go for line command. First we are going to draw a horizontal line and then draw the vertical line. So you take line nearest point on this and take at the rate 100 less than minus 150 then you're going to get this point then move move this to some distance inside then go to line take end point of this and draw perpendicular to this line then go to line again at the rate 100 less than 45 and then draw a locus now we extend this till here now we need to write the solution Go to line, take a intersection and draw a horizontal line. 
go to line take intersection this perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to circle take intersection of this to intersection of this then go to line take intersection of this and intersection of this so you're going to get the top view then trim between this circle this between these two lines and you will going to get this then go to circle take intersection of this to intersection of this line and then go to line draw a line from intersection of this to intersection of this and then intersection of this then go to trim between this line and this line you trim the remaining portion now we go for line take intersection of this at the rate 200 less than minus 45 and then go to line intersection of this and draw a horizontal line then from here intersection of this and perpendicular to this then go to line int of this to intersection point of these two then go to extend extend this line till here now go to break break this till here then go to trim trim the cutting edge as this and you're going to get this then go to break in these two then uh, till break here then go to break from here till here then go to fillet between these two similarly break from here you break this till here so now just go to move select objects you select this and move it putting on the ortho mode off you take it somewhere here now we want to change the line thicknesses so to do that so you just uh, click on these two and take this as layer you make this as xy escape then come down to these two and make these two layer as views and click on line weight switch on then go to these two lines then go to layer and make that layer as true length now we need to write the locus you click on this and then here you just click on this line go to layer make that as locus and you make this as 10 so now this is how you will be able to write this and here you just click on this go to layer you make it as views so now we need to write the text go to the text click on this and uh, mark this as xy and you mark this as x1 y1 then uh, you mark this as capital a and this as capital b and here we have this as capital a and this as capital b and this as locus of b and here this as locus of b and now you put up the caps lock a dash this as b dash this as a this as b this as a double dash and this as b double dash and here this as b1 this as b1 dash and here this as b2 dash and this as b2 and say ok then go to uh, move and here go to detect uh, here you mark this as uh, vp vp this as hp and this as rpp then say ok then go to move and you first move x vp and then hp then rpp then go to you select this uh, a double dash and this y then go to b double dash 
and this as rpp and this as a this as capital a this as cap small b go to b2 b1 b1 dash locus of b b2 dash go to b this as a this as a dash this as capital a and everything has been moved now we go for ddim then go to modify then uh, primary units is uh, this alternate angular units is zero say okay Sorry. then go to modify then uh, go to text uh, align with the dimension line take the text it has four and then go to align with the dimension line centered is above then take this as three to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as four and say go to lines then uh, take this as three and say okay and say close then we go for dim aligned select between these two to take this dimension as a uh, hundred so go to text uh, type it as hundred and select wherever you want then go to dim angular select this between this line and this line so you're going to get it as 30 degrees you just click on this then again dim angular in this line and this line you take it as 45 degrees then we need to go for the shortest distance so then go to dim aligned take int of this and take perpendicular to this and so here you just got this just a line here you 40.82 so go to text so give space and enter so you measure this then go to line to take intersection of perpendicular to this so here dim aligned select this you draw this and go to text so give sd shorted distance equals question mark so you place it wherever you want then go to dim angular select between this line and this line so you're going to get it as 45 degrees then we need to give the arrow heads so to do that go to leader nearest select this line and draw a <coughs> put on the ortho mode <coughs> annotation option and then none again go to leader nearest of this select here and drag this annotation options none go to leader nearest on this you drag this then go to annotation options none now we go for leader nearest on this you take this line and of oh, no. then go to leader take nearest on this you take this annotation options no. then go to switch off the ortho mode then go to leader nearest to select this and here you just click on this offset annotation options no. now we need to do the leader nearest on this you take this line and then go to annotation options none so go to explode then go to leader nearest to switch on the ortho mode nearest to click on this annotation options none go to explode select between these two and also this arrow head and also this and also this and also this then this 
then here then go to erase erase this line erase this line then erase this line then erase this line erase this line erase this erase this and now we need to go for this line then go to leader nearest on this you draw a horizontal projector annotation options then go to explode explode this then go to erase and delete then go to move move this x go to ortho mode up click on this and you take hp here so this is how you will be able to create the drawing and now we need to write the answer so d text so type answers so here go to line draw a line of this length and then go to d text 40.82 mm so you click on this so 40.82 mm so this is move then go to zoom then go to offset take the distance as 7 then go to copy select this take intersection of this take nearest point on this and then go to end point of this then go to trim trim this till here trim this then go to erase hmm? go to line take end point of this and to end point of this line go to detect so here you type sd shorted distance you just go to move move this then go to move switch on the ortho mode select this and move it here then go to fillet between these two between these two then you go to zoom previous so this is how you will be able to write the answer and go to save and click on the appropriate directory then go to line drawing and here you type p69 and save and finally you exit the